Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Steam World Build, which is probably one of the most exciting announcements uh, that has come as part of the Steam Base Builder Fest. Anyway, uh, this is a little snapshot of what this game has to offer. Uh, we are going to jump into things here, and I'm going to hopefully explain what the heck is happening. Uh, we are going to skip this little cutscene, but um, whilst that is taking place, I'm going to explain the premise of the game. Um, we inhabit this world, uh, which is which is operated and I guess lived in by all of these crazy little Steam bots. That's right, these steam bots they look like I, I i don't know like little steampunk robots they look pretty heckin cool uh if you uh if you don't mind me saying uh we're gonna go through the the sort of i guess tutorial stuff right now there's nothing super complex about it but it's stuff that we need to do anyway uh the premise um this is our this is our i guess initial area that we will be building in uh, colored rocks over there and whatnot a lot of a uh, lot of fancy stuff and the whole idea about this game uh, is to try and dig down uh, dig down to the bottom of the world so that we can rescue some old abandoned equipment uh, and hopefully escape this planet and get to the stars it's kind of that simple right um, in order to do that we're gonna have to build a thriving little local community in order to uh, in order to dig down uh, we need to build six residential buildings very very simple we can build at the moment dirt roads uh worker residentials dirt roads and a marketplace uh basically uh what we need to do uh is we need to try and level up our town very very simple very very simple in order to hit the first milestone we are going to have to get 24 workers it's pretty it's pretty easy let's get cracking shall we um we've got this train station uh, right in the center of town, which may very well look like it does something, uh, but it doesn't actually do anything at this moment in time. It's just, I guess, the uh, it's just the town center, which is fine. Anyway, no big deal there. Uh, not a problem at all. Look at that. We've got all these. We got all these lovely little bots just wandering around. They all look fantastic. They look really, really good. Anyway, uh, now that we built all of. Um, all of these uh, these workers a home uh, we are gonna slap down a marketplace and very very simply uh, the marketplace fulfills the needs of the workers and as you can see worker boom uh, their need is now fulfilled and look at that they've managed to get themselves a second a second need uh, so their satisfaction has gone down to about 50 percent that is not a problem not a problem at all we can store up to six workers in a in a building, uh, and that's pretty much, uh, I guess, the, the 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 basics of it. Um, our next milestone is at 70, uh, and uh, each and every time we level up, we will be getting access to more and more complicated and fantastical buildings, which I'm very much looking forward to deploying and optimizing. Uh, the first thing that we need to sort of address here is the is the forester, I guess, the uh, the wood production chain. It's, it's not overly complicated, is it? No, it, it really isn't. But basically, everything needs to be connected up to the center of town. Nothing overly complex about that. And we also need to make sure that everything is processed accordingly. Let's get that over there. Boom. Very, very simple. As I say, we've got the forester, uh, which chops down the trees. And has got a certain number of workers. We're actually in a little bit of a worker shortage uh, situation at the moment. But that's not the end of the world. Uh, we're only down a single worker. Uh, we need a warehouse to basically go right between the two of these things in order to uh, collect and distribute all of the wood between them. It's it's pretty it's pretty darn simple. Uh, right, uh, we got a little income statement over here. As you can see, uh, our city upkeep is thirty one per cycle. That is per per this, uh, and we currently only have an income of thirty. So I think it's probably an idea. Yeah, we need to fulfill more worker needs, and we also need to grow the worker population. So let's do let's do that. But I actually also would like to let's have a little look see here. Let's get another residential over there, another residential over there. We've only got a couple of boards, and I really would like to try and accelerate my uh, board manufacturing process. So I think we're maybe going to try and get another one of these all the way out here. Just before we properly start committing to uh, any of our uh, proper town infrastructure. We also need to get a warehouse if he, uh, down here, of course. That will do just fine. What do we need? We need more workers. Yeah, I mean that's kind of to be anticipated, but we can we can manage that. Uh, we can manage that. No issues whatsoever. 
There we go, there we go, and yeah, we are out of boards. But the good news is, right, the very, very good news is, is that we have managed pretty successfully, uh, what do we need for the service shop? We would need a few more boards. Uh, yeah, that's the whole point. The whole point of getting that second, of getting that second mill and the second forester is so that we're able to basically double up our capacity to produce boards. I'm talking like it's a complicated process. It's really not a very complicated process, but it is a very important process that we that we get sorted. Let's jump into fast mode, and soon we should hopefully be in big board territory, which is what I'm quite excited about. Uh, we've also got some decoration over here. I mean, I really don't care about that at all. Um, no, I really, really don't care. Uh, I'm not much one. I'm, I'm not really one for decorating. Uh, you never know. Maybe that'll maybe that'll come later. But but for now, let's let's not worry about it too much. Right. Uh, we got plenty of boards whilst I was wittering away there. Uh, let's get the service station down. Look at that. Boom. Uh, not only do we fulfill more needs, but everybody gets uh, everybody gets happier, which is great. But more important than that, we actually managed to get more workers into the houses. So we've gone from a deficit of ten workers to a surplus of ten workers. Very very nice indeed. Uh, let's keep the pressure on here, I think. It sounds good to me. And that will take us up to the next level of milestone, which is fantastic. Uh, and now we need to try and build a cactus farm, which is the brand new, which is the brand new unlock. Now I think a cactus farm over here, we're gonna need like one more board, but to be honest, yeah, I mean, we're on four out of five boards, so it's it's not that big a deal. Uh, we need to place fields in order to ensure that the cactus farm functions accordingly. Uh, let's just do, let's do that. No real reason not to do it. Charcoal kiln keeps steam bots operational. Excellent. Yeah, in fact, well, we're waiting for the cactus water to be deployed. I think we should be able to produce enough. Uh, but I guess we shall, I guess we shall wait and see imminently. Uh, there should be a, a veritable explosion, a veritable explosion in satisfaction. Needs not satisfied. I know, there we go, look at that, our workers increased. That is, that is excellent. That is very, very good. Uh, we're not quite there in terms of satisfaction, but we're not far off. There we go. That's pretty, that's pretty darn good if I do indeed say so myself. Um, we could maybe get another, I think I maybe want to get another another board factory. Maybe I'm just being overly, overly greedy with regards to the amount of boards that I should be getting, but I'm really thinking, like, the only thing that is limiting my potential future expansion, that is absolutely horrific, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, the only thing limiting my potential future expansion is boards. So why not, whilst we've got an excess of boards, just just get it sorted. Uh, we're also now making money. Our income is far in excess of our city upkeep, which is marvelous. And we've got plenty of board production. 120 population is our next milestone. And we are fulfilling three out of five of the worker needs. And we're well on our way to the objective uh, to grow the worker population to 200, which is lovely. Uh, right, what did I need? I needed 120 workers in order to hit the charcoal kiln. No big deal whatsoever. In fact, that is absolutely perfect. I'm thinking that maybe we can do something like this. How about that? If we do something like that, am I going to be able to squeeze another? I think I actually would be able to squeeze another. Um, yeah, I totally would be able to squeeze another thing in there. Sure. Hey. Uh, you know what, if I move these fields, if I move these fields, uh, the problem is, can I relocate these fields? I might have to replace them again, that's fine. Yeah, if I move these fields, then we could actually make this whole setup just much more efficient. There we go, move you down by one, 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 no, don't move you down by one. Move you over there, although it doesn't actually matter, and then we squeeze you in here. And then as long as we get the pathways, we will be sorted. Excellent. Okay, that's looking good. I'm pretty happy with that. We've unlocked the charcoal kiln, which is great. Uh, right, so the charcoal kiln takes what? It takes regular old wood? Well, I'll tell you what, a charcoal kiln parked round about here would look good to me. 
And in fact, actually, given that that is within warehouse range, uh, that should mean that it's actually supplied with what it needs. Now, that being said, um, we may have a slight deficit of wood. We can actually click on here. Yeah, the administration window and see exactly what is going on here, uh, which is very, very handy, in fact. And as you can see, because of the fact that the charcoal kiln is now accepting logs uh, rather than just the mills for boards, we've actually got a little bit of a deficit there. Um, I can rectify that like very, very easily. In fact, if we do something like that and then connect that up there, it'll be within warehouse range, plus we'll be able to get the... the the extra logs. There we go. Perfect. Everything is in the green, which is fantastic. Right. Uh, we need to repair the old train station in order for our city to progress. It's going to cost us four boards. I've got 38. I am... I am in big money town. Anyway, thank you very much. I appreciate all of the uh, all of the intel. I'm not much one for story in games, even though these robots look very, very cute and uh, look... Whoa, holy cow, I didn't even realize, but clicking on that uh, was, uh, it looked like a tumbleweed, but, oh, holy cow, I didn't even, I didn't even realize. Right, uh, we're going to continue to try and grow the population as much as we possibly can. Uh, what do we got here? We have got, ah, I see, the item tool. Uh, very, very interesting. Uh, we'll, we'll address that in just a second, but I think we're going to try and get our population above the limits. One, two, three. I need to make sure that we are within range of... Of everything. Let's hope that that's the case. Excellent. Right, uh, again, a little bit of backstory. It doesn't particularly matter, but this is the, I guess, the, the main character in the game. And this is... Uh, I don't want to say obviously nefarious character in the story, but it doesn't matter. Also, this is, uh, this is the daughter of the main protagonist. Again, I'm not quite sure it really adds much to the city building, uh, experience, but there we go. Right, uh, what can we do with engineers? We've unlocked a new citizen tier. Excellent. Uh, note that engineers have different needs. Ah, I see. Right, uh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Let's go... Let's go upgrades, upgrade, and upgrade. Beautiful. Right, what do we need? 70 engineers in order to hit the next milestone. Cool. The workforce for engineers is separate. Yep, absolutely. Uh, you'll gain engineers and lose workers. That's not a problem at all. Right, um, what's the issue with satisfaction? Uh, charcoal, charcoal need is not fulfilled. Uh, that shouldn't be the case, but that's okay. Uh, we've also maxed out in terms of boards, um, so there we go. That's fine. Uh, we've got the mine shaft over here, which we do need to repair, and we also need to get more engineers. Um, I'll start the process to repair that. Where's the where's the door over here? Is that the door? Yeah, sure. Hedge, hedge our bets. Uh, we need to get a few more engineers as well. So why don't I go about getting one more? Boom. That's going to give me 18, I hope, engineers. Although, that being said, charcoal and whatnot needs time to refill. Let's see. 16. May need to get one more house upgraded to deal with engineers. Uh, a saloon, a saloon and moonshine. Oh yeah, I could, I could get that set up. Although, to be honest, that is... Provide your engineers with the service of being able to kick back and enjoy themselves. Uh, sure, let's do that over... Let's do that over here. That's at least going to increase the satisfaction a little bit, which is going to increase the number of engineers available ever so slightly, which means that we're going to be able to repair this. And boom! What do you know? Good job. Let's head down into the mine, press 2 to enter the mine. Excellent. Right. Let's freaking go. Excellent. Okay. So there's going to be a little bit of chatter there, which is which is marvelous. Uh, we'll need gold nuggets to set up our operation. Uh, click the chest by the mine shaft to get you started. Cool. What do we get? Instability of the planet is dangerous. If ignored, there'll be collapses in the mines. We can place pillars to stabilize them. Very, very cool. Isn't this just fantastic? Uh, right, shall we place a pillar there? Sure. Um, I mean, it looks more stable now, doesn't it? 
Right, and then we'll be able to get, hopefully, uh, an area for our engineers to operate in. How big do I want the quarters to be? At least nine tiles to function? Well, uh, I kind of don't have that much space. I kind of don't have that much space. Although I guess if we build around the pillar, then that solves the that solves the problem. Right. And then uh, recruit miners, that's fine. We'll deal with that in a second. But for now, let's let's start a digging. I am maybe a bit worried that we might end up we might end up accidentally going a little bit over the top in terms of uh in terms of digging. Right, uh, we'll also increase the size of our quarters, get more miners. Oh my lordy. Okay, I don't want to end up accidentally making this area too unstable. Okay. But I must say, this is looking so far so good. Uh, stability looks, looks fine to me. Right, I need to dig all the way out here. Okay, well I'll do as I'm told. There we go. Scrap is essential for the future construction. The growth of our city relies upon unique resources found in the mine. Excellent. Okay, high instability will cause the mine to collapse. Um, I will put down... I'll put down a pillar over here. Uh, it, it doesn't really cost that much. As long as we've got good income, we should be, we should be pretty much fine. We should be pretty much fine. Um, do I need to increase the size of... Uh... Do I need to in increase the size of my quarters again? I think I, I think I do. Let's do it. Recruits three. Says we should be fine. There we go. Okay, well, we've got loads of miners now, which is excellent. Oh, and it looks like they're bracing things up here. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Did I... Did I cue that to be mined? I think I did. There we go. Okay, let's let's get to it. Oh man, look at this! Look at this! Fantastic. Uh, no stability issues yet to speak of, which is great. We got plenty of gold coming in. Marvelous. Oh, you love to see it. What a fantastic little uh, little operation. Right, a scrap vein. Brilliant. To mine the scrap vein, we'll need the help of prospectors. Head back up to the city so that we can prepare for their arrival. Yeah. Before I do that, though, let me real quick get a get a pillar down over here just to make sure. Man, I am loving this. This is fantastic. Look at how cool this is. We're creating a city above ground, and we are creating a city below ground. How very, very awesome. Right, upgrading more workers into engineers, uh, or fulfilling your engineers' uh, needs will do the trick. Cool, right, well, we'll grow the engineer population. We're gonna try and probably, I would say, upgrade houses around this sort of vicinity. We need tools. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we should probably be able to grow the engineer population to about 70. I appreciate that we will need to get moonshine at some point. Uh, I mean, we're gonna need to... We're gonna need to set this up, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, we should probably just do it, right? We should probably just do it. Fertility, 61%. Fertility, 100% over there. That's great. Uh, we'll get a sand sifting factory or a glass blower even that's fine we'll get a cactus farm an extra cactus farm and we'll get a moonshiner over there now uh that may already be within the the sort of general area of a warehouse but just in case it's not yeah it's not that's fine we'll we'll we'll, we'll deal with it uh let's get the fields sorted first there we go and then we'll get a warehouse right over here Beautiful. Okay, that's looking that's looking great. Uh, the Moonshiner is yeah, is where we do that. Now, is that gonna get teleported directly into the center of town, or are we going to need to get a are we gonna need to get a moonshiner over here? Yeah, we're actually gonna need to get a moonshiner over here. Let's do that over there and maybe actually just ditch this. Yeah, okay. We may need to make this within warehouse range, but to be honest, yeah, it's probably covered. So uh, the interesting thing is, is that warehouses teleport uh, resources between themselves. So that's actually really, really nice. Uh, with that little tiny tweak, we actually probably should be well on our way to getting exactly what we need. Um, and we should be able to get moonshine 
not in excessive quantities, but it should be enough to grow our engineer population to the required uh, to the required amount, which is kind of mission critical, I suppose. In fact, it's the only thing that's critical at this present time. Uh, we may need to get some extra tools. I'll pop downstairs. I will... Downstairs, not the technical terminology, is it? And I'll mine out some extra tools. There we go. In the walls. Brilliant. What the heck is this? What the heck is this red cord doing over there? Oh. Don't have direct access to that chest, but uh, I can very easily. Oh, we need more we need more advanced pickaxes in order to do that. That's fine. Hey, look at that. Beautiful. It's a hat. Fantastic news. Right, uh, okay. I don't think that we're unstable here. That's fine. I can get prospector's quarters, which is very, very interesting indeed. Uh, is there anywhere specific that we want to build want to build these? Sure. I mean, that's going to give us literally one singular prospector, but that's fine. Uh, and they're going to hopefully go to go to town over here. Look, look at these diligent. Look at these diligent fellows. Oh, that's bedrock. We can't do it. We can't do anything there. Uh, the prospector is yeah doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. They are chowing down on the vein, which is excellent. Uh, we've got a steady flow of scrap and we need to build a tool maker. Now, I believe that's upstairs, if I'm not mistaken. It, it should be indeed. Ooh, we've also unlocked the opportunity to get paved roads, which is very, very exciting, in fact. Uh, we're going to do that, probably, at some point. Right, toolmaker or scrap, which is found in the mine. That is excellent. Now, tools are in demand, apparently. Uh, we'll build it, and then we will perhaps address the situation. Ooh, yes, I need to I need to experiment. I need to experiment with this. What do I need to do? Warehouse items, simultaneous deliveries, plus three in global storage. I mean, I've got loads and loads of money. I've got loads and loads and loads of money. Uh, the train, of course, has just refreshed things. That's fine. Do I care about anything here? Sure, let's buy let's buy that. That's fine. Right. Okay, we should secure some iron ironium next. We'll need to upgrade our digging tools by by building the pickaxe maker in the city first. Uh, the pickaxe maker in the city. We don't need that. Build one pickaxe maker. Is that the tool maker or is that is that something different, video game? Uh, yeah, we should also we should also upgrade the roads. I am actually kind of excited about the prospect of doing that. Uh, right. Okay, let's let's first head downstairs and see what we've got going on over here. Uh, slot your first equipment into a quarter. Yeah, speaking of, uh, can I do this over here? Recruit bonus prospectors, recruitment plus three. Sure. Let's get that in there. It's going to give us some more bonus prospectors, plus 200% digging speed, plus 33% movement speed. You'll love to see it. That is fantastic. What a lovely little bonus that is. That's great. Uh, right. What am I, what am I making? Am I making a pickaxe maker? Do I need to hit another milestone? I may need to hit another milestone in order to reach the pickaxe maker. Item tool. Yeah. Oh yeah. We've got, we've experimented with that already. Uh, can I do some more digging as well? Do I need any, do I need to dig anything else? I do kind of want to just dig more because it is an immensely satisfying. It's an immensely satisfying thing to do. Man, this game feels good. This game feels great. This feels really, really good. Uh, yeah, I need to cancel the deconstruction of that somehow. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, right, what am I looking for? Build a pickaxe maker. Yeah, uh, so it must be up here. It must be up here somewhere. We've got the tool maker. The tools are being made. Service shop. Yeah, where the heck is it? Where the heck is the tool maker? Uh, the, the surveyor office? Let's get the surveyor office. Maybe we need the surveyor office. Well, whatever the case, I've made the engineers unbelievably delighted, which is great. Happy days. What do I need for the... Oh, I see. We need 120... We need 120... Um, 120 of these chumps. Right. We need marketplace and... The services. Uh, I, you know, I'm content for you to remain as is. Let's get... Let's get some residential. Let's get some residential. Let's get some residential over here. Let's do a small additional block of residential. 
And let's get that upgraded, which we can't do. We're going to need to get another marketplace over here for... Let's actually move it. Let's actually move this back because... I know, I know, I know it's going to upset the balance of things, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. There we go. That's looking... That's looking a lot more professional now. Get the marketplace over there. Get the service center over here. Uh, then let's get you upgraded to an engineer if we can. Yep, we should be able to now. Beautiful. Right, that is absolutely 100% going to get us over the milestone required. Beautiful. Right, pickaxe maker. Scrap found in the mine from the forester as well. And we also get the... Uh, we also need wood which I have in actual, actually quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of excess. I've got it in abundance. Um, I will need some more tools in order to, in order to get going here. So can I dig through there to get access to tools? Uh, can I dig through sandstone? No, can't dig through that. Dig that out. There we go. Dig that out. We'll try and get more tools. It's not overly difficult to get them. There we go, but we just need to be, you know, we need to be aware of the stability and whatnot. Right, negative numbers mean that we don't have enough. I know, don't worry about it, we're, we're, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, pickaxe maker, pickaxe maker, boom. Let's have a little look um, immediately at our wood production. We're actually totally fine for wood production. Scrap can only be found in the mine. Now, um, if we are not, if we're not good in terms of scrap, then to me that means that we need to try and we need to try and increase kind of tremendously our um our scrap our scrap facilities here that's okay right we've gained access to the workshop facility which allows us to build machines facilities have a machine capacity uh, which depends on size very very cool indeed scrap extractor workshop Ooh, interesting in fact workshop is uh too small yeah, yeah don't worry about it don't worry about it right um want to build here yeah you know i tell you what let's take all of this up in sort of as much detail as we possibly can we've also got mechanic quarters and we've also got bridges now that's going to be handy let's build the workshop i think we can build the workshop just generally here scrap extractor and the scrap extractor can go right over there beautiful Right, uh, however, we are going to have to get some specialist operators in order to make this work. We'll get some uh, mechanic quarters down. I'm running out of, like, objectively not terrible space. Can I maybe... This maybe is a bit bold, but I'm going to do it nonetheless. There we go. This is almost certainly going to lead to some sort of a stability issue. So I'm, I'm, I'm standing ready with my pillars. There we go. Look at this digging speed. The digging speed, the movement speed is all sublime. It's perfect. Oh, you love to see it. Okay. Position blocked. There we go. Uh, yep, that's fine. Okay, two of those. That's, that's rectified things quite nicely, in fact. Uh, we do need to try and sweep up the... You need to try and sweep up this dirt that's on the floor here. Is there... Am I missing something about why we're not able to get... Why we're not able to get the mechanics things down here? Okay, whatever. Look, we'll get we'll get one down and then we'll worry about the rest of it. Uh, the room is too small. Yeah, well... Is it tools? Ah, oh, I need more tools. That's That's what's hard capping me. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, right, where can we find more tools? This door is locked. Follow the colored cable to the lever that'll find it open. Oh yeah, I can get bridges, by the way. But I need to get sheet metal in order to do that. Can I get a sheet metal facility? Uh, iron, ironium. Let's get, let's get ironium. Okay, set that to be queued up. Tools, frankly, should be manufactured much more swiftly than they currently are. I appreciate that we really don't have enough we don't have enough extraction going on down downstairs, but we really need to make that work. I also need to extract this 
this ironium stuff. Right, let's, let's continue to extract over here. Let's go on a little bit of a journey. Maybe see if we can try and find some more tools just hiding out in the walls. I mean, frankly, we don't really have any other options at this moment in time. Ooh, tools? Tools from the chest? A ruby. Well, that's fine. I also should be checking the train station with a little bit more regularity than perhaps I am. There we go. Still no signs of instability yet either, which is great. Good stuff. And let's get let's get the mechanic quarters. There we go. Get that get that uh, get that built up a little bit. Discovered a scrap vein. Ooh, that's good intel. That's great. Uh, that means that our prospectors hopefully can start mining that. That's good. Uh, no signs of stability at all yet either. That's excellent. Uh, sandstone, brittle bedrock. Can we get through this here? We absolutely can. Let's freaking do it. No sheet metal yet, but we're, we're getting there. Machine constructed. Hey, look at that. Look at that. We actually freaking got there. We got one singular mechanic, which is great. And now we should be able to mine scrap much more consistently, which I am very, very, very pleased about. There we go. That needs to be set as dig mode. And that will be great. Right. Okay, sheet metal we are going to work towards... That's fine. Let's continue to... Ooh! That's exactly what we're looking for down there. That is the iron... Ironium. Nice. If I could get some... If I could get some extra little bonuses from the town, that would be great. Anything... Miner equipment, recruit, plus three bonus miners. You know what? Honestly, I think I'll take that. That's... That seems like a pretty good upgrade. I mean, it doesn't seem like the most necessary upgrade at a time like this, but... Oops. Uh, but that is fine. Look at that. Three extra miners. Beautiful. Love to see it. That is fantastic. Right, so sheet metal. We will hopefully have our first bit of sheet metal in just a second. And we're also making and manufacturing tools at a pretty decent rate. Now, uh, workshop. I need the ironium uh, extractor, which is unfortunately not available in the demo, which is a great shame. But we can at least start extracting. And we need to find the first piece of old tech, uh, which we should be able to do if I jump into two times speed. And you know what? Let's continue to extract. There's bedrock all around us over here. Uh, let's go down this way. Sure. Continue to extract. Also, there's definitely a scrap vein over there. Very, very handy. As soon as I get that sheet metal, we're gonna start. We're gonna start working a bridge. Don't you know it? That goes over there. Anything else? I don't think there's really anything else that we can... don't really think there's anything else we can get to at the moment. Scrap vein. Yep, that's this one over here. We'll set that up to be deconstructed. I did build the sheet metal thing, didn't I? Pickaxe maker, sheet, sheet metal factory. Yeah, we're getting it. It's just, it's just coming very, very slowly. But it is happening. Which is great. Right, find the first piece of old tech. Where do we reckon the first bit of old tech is going to be? It's going to be nearby somewhere, but... Not that near, apparently. Uh, right, let's get a bridge. Beautiful. Cool, trains arrive at the station. Doesn't particularly matter. Look at this, like, horde of... Horde of workers arriving. Okay, well, that did pretty much sweet nothing, but... Again, not a big deal. And we shall try with the... Yeah, we're going to need at least another bit of sheet metal in order to get there. Right, should we just try and, like, extract as much as we possibly can? This seems like a great idea, which is definitely not going to end badly. Uh, maybe, if I, maybe if I get some more prospectors, that'll... That'll make somewhat of a difference. Let's also cut that out. Right. Instability is almost certainly going to lead to a collapse here. Mark my words. This is probably a pretty stupid... Pretty stupid thing to do. But that's okay. Uh, can I get some more... Can I get some more prospectors? Let's do it. 
sure. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, it's quite a large expansion, but I think it's absolutely worthwhile. Believe it or not, this hasn't led to, like, a complete cataclysmic failure of the roof. Close, though. There we go. Okay, instability has been removed. Beautiful. Uh, I've got that sheet metal. I've got plenty of sheet metal right now. I could also think about replacing some more... Ooh, interact with the lever to pull it. Yes, I will do that. And we'll watch the electricity travel along here. Boom! Look at that. What is this? Uh, use the dig tool to start excavating the rocket parts. Hey, hey, look at that. That is excellent. Use the dig tool. This is the dig tool. Oh, I need to click on it specifically. All right. We need six miners. Uh, well, we can get one more because we definitely have more than enough to come and assist with this. Very, very cool. Very, very cool indeed. There's dirty water over here, which is of very little interest to me, but that's fine. Uh, we are also in unstable. There we go. That's 100% of the instability removed, which is very, very nice indeed. Right, let's pop back upstairs to see if there's anything else that we can actually build. Um, I don't think that there is, even if we pause and take stock of exactly where we are. I think we've got everything. Everything is, is working in pretty much perfect harmony. The balance of everything is, is in positive bill. Uh, we've got the production change item, which I really don't feel the need to modify or play around with at this moment in time. I think I'm kind of content just to leave that as is. Oh, look, cool. You can actually see the rocket being extracted from the ground. Literally as we speak. Okay. Uh, but with the exception of that, I think that's us pretty much there. Um, whilst I'm waiting, I can expand the mechanic quarters. Take that up to three recruits. Uh, I can also ex uh, increase the workshop a little bit. And then that's going to allow us the opportunity to get more extractors. Uh, that's ironium, actually, so I can't even get that. That's fine. The old tech has been extracted. I'm not going to quite pick that up yet, but we will very, very shortly. Right, that's going to get me a third extractor slot. Uh, oh yeah, I tell you what, I'm going to need to remove that. And uh, prospector is left. That's okay. We can increase the size of the prospector. may look a little bit higgledy-piggledy, but it's definitely, definitely worthwhile. Uh, mostly the prospector should just be mining the Ironium right now. Cool. All right. Let's freaking go. Let's add it to... Let's add it to our... Let's add it to our... Uh, to our inventory. Excellent. Okay. Okay. They hear it. You have to be ready. We weren't ready last time. Indeed. Okay, let's get upstairs and see what's happening. Uh, there's a a lot of chatter, a lot of chatter, uh, but hopefully we're going to be able to blast off. There we go, and that's it. Um, so, you know, we didn't even really get to see the thing blast off, but to be fair... Uh, I'm presuming that that is just like, in the full game, it will be the lower uh, section of the rocket. And look, there's enemies that are probably going to be coming. Uh, look at that, mechanical cows. Oh my giddy ant. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, I am super, super, super excited for this. Steam World Build. What a fantastic little concept. Oh, you, you absolutely love to see it. It looks fantastic. It feels fantastic. I really cannot wait to see more of it. Over the next coming coming weeks, months, years, whatever. It's going to be great. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Open to Potato. Uh, check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. Uh, check out the Steam Base Builder Fest that is uh, ongoing at the very moment that this video is being released. Uh, there's a whole bunch of fantastic demos, which I would strongly encourage you to check out if you're interested in the base building genre as I am. Uh, but for now and from me, I'll see you next time. Bye.